Nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? Good. Okay. And? Completely empty? No locusts? No fast either? That's not ideal, but... It just means the Insulindian Phasmid is even more clever than we thought. She's engaging in a well-known self-deception called motivated reasoning. You should correct them. Oh, of course, more clever. Yes, the Phantasmodea picked off the locust and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. Another trip to the reeds. I appreciate your concern, officer, but please leave this to the experts. Unless you have an alternative hypothesis you'd like to venture. Actually, no. Excuse me for getting emotional. This is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now, and brought some great news too. My gratitude, and the gratitude of the Societe Cryptozoologique de Ravachon is yours. Thank you, it's an honor. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but... Damn it, Lieutenant. Have you no intellectual curiosity? Well, they may not look impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly. So I'm sure they'll do the trick. Locusts. Nearly all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that the Insulindian phasmid might occasionally prey on other insects. Inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over one another in a tiny chittering swarm. A meat-eating stick insect? Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. Thank you for your opinion. We have also included plant material in the traps to satiate your skepticism. Yes. Simple. Attracted by the locusts, the phasmid crawls down the funnel and, having eaten its fill, can get back out. At least, that's the intention. The net isn't a perfect solution but we didn't want to use anything that might damage the specimen's delicate exoskeleton. They'll work, I assure you. The predatory hypothesis, using locusts as bait, accounts for the failure of previous efforts by other teams, which use plants. We have given this some thought. The traps do seem to be deftly and thoughtfully constructed. It's clear the cryptozoologist's wife knows what she's doing. Yes, what? Hello, Lena and I were just discussing the design of the new trap. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed, as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person, hands small enough to fit inside the trap too. You should ask the red-headed boy, Kuno. A little hooligan, but what would a child want with bags? Oh my dear Morel. You've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. Delinquents, my favorite. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. Well, I see you've got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play suzerainty. 
but no more field trips for me. After this is your last chance to talk to Gary. Really, Gary? We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play Sousa in tea, but... Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. It was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it, even if it's bugs. Morale, it's been fun, really. But I need a bath and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I... No, no. No need to apologize, Geary. You'd be more than helpful. We'll have to take a rain check on that game of Sue's rain tea today, though. We're gonna... He keeps the language unemotional, but it's in there. Disappointment. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. I mean, officers. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. How may I assist you? Still no word, I'm afraid, sir. 57. In the cabin. What do you mean by party? Yes, what do you mean?
thing is, I haven't said Barty. And neither have you. Had you let me in on the script of this play before you performed it, I could have gone along. As it stands, the entire line of questioning has been compromised. We have nothing left to do but hold this wiser play on your part, and to move on. Now, we have some questions for you. Like what? Recording, I guess. I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. But there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. Not sure how that will sound. The musicians in the Palaceum used them for making music. They looped the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be, like, a music place anyway. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. Take this, your call. No, ma'am, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay. Thanks. That? The boys think it could be a place, like the Palaceum or something. Stupid. It's really not going to be a Palaceum, that's for sure. Yeah. Andre and the guys, they're inside, in the tent. And why is that? They got too much stuff crammed in there. No room. Music stuff, mostly. Like this tape recorder, but bigger. And there's piles of it. That stuff is more expensive than I am. More expensive than any of us, really. Doesn't matter. I can take the cold. Go ahead. A cell. Her hair is dyed blonde, with dark roots showing. There's a coarseness to her features, some masculinity below that timidness. Why? Okay, it's Burger. A very common name. This is a portable recording device. It's for field recording. Low quality, but still. Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. A contact mic records sounds from inside things, like this ice. Your mangled brain would like you to know there is a boxer called Contact Mike. No idea. Uh, yeah, I record stuff with it. Ah, no. This is a contact microphone. It's for recording inside solid objects. Contact mic just beats people up. Um... An entire litany spews forth. Man, you are one weird cop. What is it with you and this Mike guy? Okay, if it floats your boat, I'll be more like Contact Mike and less like me. Uh-huh. Good on you. Okay. Okay. Bye. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men, all in forward-looking apparel, reminiscent of the sticker on the padlock, are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. 
One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Sorry, you barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. Sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organisers. You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Artists are for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologise for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realise this is not how you speak to a police officer. He has authority issues. Yeah, it's a matter of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads! Burnouts! Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin Hayes on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that, in Revachon. Strike that, the road! And sadder yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze. Letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. The spooky kind. I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community centre and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just want to spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. All right, man. Yes, I asked Noy to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Of course! Lloyd, give the officer the key. Alright. It's as if time has frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in the air. Yeah, this is going to be way cool.
slam straight in the eye, straight in the old eye or in the looking ball, a stabbing pain. Tears stream uncontrollably from your right eye. Man, I'm super sorry. That was totally my bad. I got overexcited. Threw them too hard. I'm sorry. I really am sorry, man. Just take this, okay? Well, wow. looks like there's quite a lot there. I hope that settles it. Or wait. The key? He is shifting in his spot, uncomfortably. Still feeling sorry for the mishap. We were talking about the padlock, I think. Not long. Like a week, maybe? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%, maybe 85% sure they're still alive. Somewhere in the ruinous past that led you here, there was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. Yes, I do. I listen to Channel 8 all the time. I know about crime stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. I knew you'd get it. You're one smart cop. He nods attentively, ready to answer the questions of one smart cop. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, good to have, bitch to carry. When I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even is running water. Uh, oh, it's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. The what now? Oh! The old Ultra, we, uh... He's like an actor, looking to the souffle for his line. I have a major sinus infection, stuffy nose, we all do. Shit's all blasted up, winter, can't even breathe. Yes, what? He nods enthusiastically, no doubt a little relieved. Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. Well, there's also the machinery. When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. Not exactly. We've just seen someone that we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple of times and we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human, as in a ghost. Do you know what he means? It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behaviour. Odd. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. Crab man! Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time, but I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it. It'd be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. There probably is no crab man. 
don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. This is a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. Hey now, I'm 70% sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that technology fool you. Where do you think the drugs come from? You should talk to Lloyd about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. With a small surge of PEA, alertness fills you. As if to say, this is a dark corner. Look behind it. It means like one of those rich boy private radio stations where you can listen to people getting killed on and jerk off to it. Sick shit. Not that we would know anything about that. Noid just likes to relay stuff. He appears sincere enough, sire. You could of course be wrong. We're getting derailed here. In short, you can tell to Noid about the machines. He'll tell you more. Sure. What? As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Yeah, gotta compare. See if we can align. I suck at socialising, man. Even now, our sign synchronisation is way off. I'll see what I can do. A sticker? You mean the yellow one? Can you describe it to me? Interesting. He wants you to describe it, though he already knows what it looks like. Oh wow! Right on your cop ledger. You like it? You're right. It's the harbinger of a new era. What would you like to know? Simplicity was brought to us by classical solarist modernism, but that was a tasteful, harmonious simplicity, right? Well, hardcore is not tasteful or outwardly harmonious. It's a warning shot. This will be dangerous. The echo of man's loss haunting him. The sticker, the clothes, the music, same thing. It is. The dead guy smiling. He defeated history. We are living in the age of history, and in the eyes of history, we are always already dead. How can we ever smile then? Because history is a lie, and so are its deaths. The present moment and life are the hardcore. The hardcore expels death, or maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just really ecstatic about the beats. Or drugged out of his mind, come to think of it. Or drunk, or in a clinical coma, all glad to be dead. But those versions suck. I guess one could write an entire treatise on the thing. But what for? Nah. Hmm. Still strongly out of sync. Stage gamma disalignment. You heard me. Weird stuff. Specialised. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some fucked up Samaran science sign. You know, the kind that goes head first into the supernatural. The People's Republic of Samara is a product of Revachal's sister revolution on the Grad Isola. It's known as a severely degenerated rogue state. I know, man. I was just talking about the aesthetic. Most of it doesn't exist, but there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, 
pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. Nah. Hmm. Still strongly, you heard me. Is it though? But is it? I mean, really? Under the radar, over the top. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? He's a quiet man. Mostly communicates through music, and by being a master of ceremonies. Well, he's just kind of here. I don't really know how to communicate with him. Yeah, sometimes, when I like to stumble and find my way into his centre, you have to hear a lot of hardcore to the mega first though. The man smiles mysteriously, choosing to let the beat speak for itself. I get it, he's a puzzle. Yeah, that's a meteor and name for the Founding Party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the Founding Party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. You know, of Meteo. Concerning Meteo. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organisation. And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Periconassian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, no? Totally. The Periconassian church is about love. And Nordic music is about love. I got love for my Periconassian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. Love is hardcore. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my Insulindian posse. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. Feels good. Coming around, you're getting it. Yeah, do it for the masses, do it for the crew. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. You feel like you could go for a little disco when. Or if they get this club going, you've got it in you. As always, we'll be right here, 
waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up, barely holding it up. It could fall over any minute. The pain falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. Shaggy-haired girl kneels on the sea ice. She looks up as you approach. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you going to help us? With the church, I mean. Great. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? We've been waiting for weeks here. Oh, that. You're not going to believe me. There's no point in me telling you. She's less prone to blurt it out, crab man, than the others. Okay. I went in and I saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noid calls it a mainframe. She was dressed like someone who's been raised by their grandmother. You know, strange old clothes. Had this absent expression, didn't say anything, just stood still. And then, you know, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall. Upside down like a crab down the church wall. I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor, then just hung there like that, looking at me, right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out. End of story. Like a crab, you say? It was too dark. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on, she obviously could. She already went into detail. He looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. Had a mesh tank top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that only made it scarier in a way. A crab? And a banger? Yes, a banger. As in a mess gang member. I know what it sounds like, but that's what I saw. Why? Okay then, they certainly do around me. to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city.
matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. And then it's gone, almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums, you can hardly hear your own breathing. Your voice is barely audible, not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total, somehow. The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? The church just has strange acoustics, some engineering trick. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Hmm, could be. He doesn't seem entirely convinced though. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and it's making its way toward you through all the other shadows. It's not a shadow anymore, becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? Oh no, you've lost sight of it. Where did it go? Yes, the darkness makes the ceiling feel infinitely far away. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you, with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry, everything's gonna be alright. You come to the right place. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesk and a district in general. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Mesks in Rivershop. Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that box. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Sheesh. Oh yeah, sure. You don't know anything about alcohol use. You got it all under control, way. I could smell the control all the way over here. I know it's hard to admit that you got a problem. I was like you once. Couldn't take an honest look into my own heart and see I was in pain. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Look at these crazes. What is this shit? Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. 
Is he just trying to throw you off your game? Whatever it is, he's quite confident about it. Just look how gracefully he sways. Tis not an act, my liege. Save him perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. Other spoker? Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. Viejita is grandma? No. I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. That's what I said, Holmes. Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. I'm afraid not, S.A. You just have to wait until she comes back or... Or search through her radio computer. Never known myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. I always thought of myself more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. I was in a gang way, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Nah, Ese. It's not like that. Best thing that could happen to you, losing your memory. Do you remember your name, sir? Tiago's my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place amongst your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. The ones in the tent outside? Right? I see them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Absolutely, man. Wouldn't bother me none to have them spin music in here. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Might even be nice to have some company. This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. This church was built around it. For purposes of veneration. I circled it. Nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'd be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Oh, that's no simple question, I said. She is one who can be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. That sounds a bit like substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or two about that. It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful those words. He is lying. Not to you. To his very own self. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I know it will take time. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beam. The bow collector. It's early in the morning. The world is dark blue. The sparks light her face. A delicate composition of triangles. The streets seem to grow longer. 
like in a dolly zoom. And there's something in the air as you stand there and wave back at the shapes growing smaller and smaller. Something that has always been there. A great see-through world. The tenderness you feel. The ghost of Revachol between you, carrying your signals. The Holy Messenger. 